So how should software interact with us? It's an interesting question. In this section, we're going to explore some of the potential answers to that. And we're labeling it broadly as sort of digital etiquette. Now, it's maybe not the type of question you've often considered about how software, if you had a choice, how would it interact with you? How would you want it to interact with you? What type of adjectives would you use to describe that interaction? And if you were to answer that, I'm fairly certain you would be saying, well, I want it to be efficient in terms of his interaction. Absolutely, I want it to be reliable. I want it to be safe in terms of what it does. And they would all be descriptors that I, I think everybody would agree with. What about other ones? If we said, well, do you want it to be smart? Should our software be smart? Should it be friendly? Should it be diligent? You would probably go, okay, yeah, why not? That sounds good. Uh, what about adventurous? Should software be adventurous? Should it be brave? Should it be passionate? So these are other characteristics that wouldn't typically be associated with software. That's not to say that they shouldn't be. And it's an interesting thought experiment to think, well, if you had passionate software, what types of characteristic would that software exhibit? And from the user's point of view, would you want it to exhibit those characteristics? Remember, we create software. We can make it do whatever it needs to do. So in that sense, then, we're limited by our ability to, to program and, and to categorize things, but we shouldn't be limited by what we aspire or want or hope to achieve, particularly if it's something that our users would value, that they would want to have in terms of his interaction with software. So we're going to, through this section, have a look at some of the characteristics. We're going to assume that we want to try to make our, our software in much the same way behave like a helpful, friendly, supportive human, a person. And if we were to take those characteristics and unpack them with what we assume of a person, then what would that mean then for the behavior of our software? And we'll start off, first of all, having a look at the idea of creating considerate software, software that thinks about us, does things with our best interests in heart. And we'll look at that next.